It's time for Twit This Week in Tech. Well, gentlemen, we have a conundrum on our hands, and that conundrum is what phone to buy. And we we reviewers get to try all kinds of, of things and swap them out, in and out. And, and, and Leo, of course, buys every phone that he's interested in. And, and uh, most of us can't do that. We have to pick one phone. for. So a lot of Twit fans, of course, are technology geeks, gadget fans, and we, we're willing to spend more for a better phone. And as I see it, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, please, but it seems to me that the, the top five phones now for this year are the new Moto X that's coming out uh, pretty soon. Uh, Pre-orders uh, go, on, go online September 16th, we're hearing. Uh, the HTC One M8, the Samsung Galaxy S5, of course, the LG G3, and the iPhone 6 Plus. Are those the five, let's, let's just start with the five best. Are those the five best phones you can buy right now? I well, would left add out, to... Left out Windows Phone. Don't forget Windows yeah. Phone. Um, well, the you M8, way, you think... Yeah, I, you can I, get, I, I was going to say, if you want to go that way, you can do the M8 Windows Phone version. Although yeah. I've got a... I have a permanent soft spot in my heart for for the uh, for the really colorful, really nice Lumias. In fact, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna break ranks and say that, uh, that my ideal phone right now, at least for me personally, would be if I could get my hands on a, uh, a Lumia Icon or a... Uh, uh, Lumia 930. That's that would be kind of my that'd be kind of my perfect phone at this point, which I know is weird because it's Windows Phone, but you know I really like it. What can I say? Mm. All right, what do you think, I, Andy? I would add the Lumia 1020 to that list because Ooh, it has something it, it has something that no other phone has, which is that really that absolutely pocket camera quality camera on it. Nothing. I, I, when I when I did my uh, big shootout uh, a couple months ago about every, sing, every single camera, uh, every single phone that I had in the office at the time and every other phone that I could get uh, back for a loan for the shootout, really was the iPhone 5S and the Lumia 1020 and for very different reasons because there were, uh, the, the iPhone 5S was the most consistent press this one button get a nice picture but the lumia could get photos that no other phone could get uh, and windows phone has been making a lot of really big leaps this is a this is a banner year for it which this is this is sort of like the uh iphone 3gs year uh, for windows phone where some features that make that make it more practical and acceptable for more people are finally here still a pity that the software library is only adequate and not exciting still a pity that uh, getting acceptance for it and support for it is not uh, is not as good as uh, anything you can get on uh, android or, or ios but i pretty much ag i pretty much agree with your lineup I would take the only one that I might not put on that list would be the HTC One because that camera is just a non-starter. So you guys are both focusing in on the cameras, which is makes a lot of well, sense. No, the just, cam no, no. I, I think that there's so many of these other features are so similar to each other. The screens are almost all exactly as good as the other. Uh, individual features from Android phone to Android phone. There's enough. To, the the the, fe the feature of Android is diversity, so that if you really really want something to be weatherproof, great. You can choose between the uh, the Sony or the uh, or the uh, or the Samsung uh, S5 if you really want something that has uh, haptic sensor has a, a really good sensor array is very forward thinking and gets great Android updates then you want to go for the Motorola so and so on and so on and so on um, when for me the difference between the HTC and the rest is that any reason that I would have for getting the HTC, there's a better reason for getting a competing phone, uh, and because not it's it, the the camera becomes a deciding factor when you have so many phones that might be so close to each other. It seems to me, though, uh, Andy, that that essentially what you're what you're gaining is a better camera in in some cases, plus some of the other features you mentioned. I mean, these are hardware features for the most part, and they're awesome and compelling features. But you're pretty much giving up on a two huge universes of apps. Is that really a, a, a trade-off uh, you'd be willing to make? Uh, for some, it would, it, again, we're talking about a, a constellation of great phones. If, I, if I'm saying that if someone is asking me, hey, can you recommend a phone, it's probably going to be one of these five, probably not the HTC, but because I, I think there are other phones I could steer them into. But uh, if they're telling me that, no, I'm not a heavy, I'm not the sort of person who keeps getting different games every single month or keeps trying to expand my universe with different apps. I've, I've, my usage for a phone is pretty much within the 65 to 75% of the universe bandwidth of it. Uh, maybe they could be more attracted to the way that Windows Phone works, which is a very attractive user interface. I love their start screen. And if they tell me that really this is the only camera they ever use and they're concerned, they're concerned about all the times where they've gotten bad pictures bad once in a lifetime pictures from their iPhone or from their previous Android phone, then I would sound them out on, well, what if I what if I told you there is a one only one camera that has 
all the features that these other uh, phone cameras do not have. You have to do some trade-offs in terms of its functionality as a, an app running device. Uh, but if that's not a problem for you, you should at least take a look at it. I, I agree that I would not recommend the 1020 or Windows phone to the majority of people. I would have to talk to them first to find out what they're looking for. Yeah, uh, Kev, that, what their expectations are. <laughs>